today we are going to learn how to make graphs and to make information design using Illustrator. Uh, as you can see here we've got three different types of design and I'm going to try and show you how to create these in Illustrator. It's fairly easy to do but you'll notice that I've removed some of the elements to make it a little bit more kind of individual uh, and I'm going to show you how to make these three okay so first of all you need to have a document an empty document and you'll notice down here at the bottom is the graph tool so there's different types of graphs today we're going to use the column graph tool the pie chart or the pie graph tool and also the line graph. Okay, so first of all, I think it would be good to start with the pie graph. So you drag, so you click on the pie graph tool, the pie chart tool, and you drag to the size you want your pie chart. So there's the size that I want it, and this is where you put your information. So if you go across, this will be where you put your information, your stats in, if you go down, it will create uh, two pie charts. So you only probably, uh, this is if you want to compare pie chart with pie chart. I can show you what I mean if I put some information in. By doing that, you'll see that there's two pie charts. No, I only want one. So I'm going to get rid of the second pie chart. And you can put in your information so if I kind of make it, I'll make one of the sections really big and then make all the other ones slightly smaller. You can see there that I've got a bigger pie chart and one of the sections is really dom dominating. So if I don't want it to dominate too much, I'll just put another bit in. You can see that it's changing. Let me build one more and just break it up a bit. Okay, obviously you're going to put information in that you've collected. Okay, so there's the uh, pie chart that I want. So I can get rid of the information now. It will always, unless you uh, expand it, and uh, you will always have that information that you can go back to. So now I want to actually manipulate it or change it. I can change it a little bit by using this arrow using the white arrow but I want to kind of ungroup them now. You'll notice that it will come up with this selection contains a graph after I ungroup it I will not be able to access the data again. That's fine I don't want to. I want to make this a creative thing. I don't want to keep the information so I go yes and now it is now an individual document that is all ungrouped. So I want to, to make it I think more stylish. I want to get rid of the actual outline of the document. So there, there hasn't got any of the outlines now. If I wanted to keep the outlines, I'll show you. You can, you can do something like this and then make the strokes bigger. So it becomes a thicker kind of document. And then you could change the angles and things like that with the white arrow. But I don't want to, so I'm going to undo. Also, you can, there you go. Okay, so uh, I want to change each one of these documents into different colors. So I go to, now I go to this section, which is the color, and I need to choose RGB, because uh, it's in grayscale automatically. I then can start changing some of the colors and yeah, I think you have to do that each time until you're kind of happy with your color ranges. Oh, that's too close. There we go. One more. Let's have a blue. Okay. So there is my weird, slightly weird looking pie chart. Maybe I'll separate some of these so it starts looking like a pie chart. 
And to make it even more stylish, I want to remove the inner part. So I'll, group, I'll select them all again. I will make a circle. I'll go directly in the middle of the document. You can make it slightly bigger. And try and place it in the middle. Okay. Then I select it all. And I will use the Shape Builder tool, which we've used before. And remembering, I press Alt to delete. It's plus if I want to join. Alt to delete. And I will just then select the middle part. And there you go, there I have my pie chart. Okay, and then I want to maybe identify what each one of the sections are. So I can use my pen tool just to identify which each one of the sections are. And then I can use, so there's one which will point out, I didn't color it. Okay, so there's one of the sections. I can make them smaller, the stroke smaller by going to there so it's not too obtrusive then I will start to create a kind of shape like that you'll notice there's white on it so I need to get the right rid of the white fill so there's only the direct thing okay now you get the idea again and then I'd want to put text by it so for this one I will just create uh, text, so I don't know, um, let's see, oranges as part of my documentation. There you go, and this could be apples. Line it up with the end of the line. There you go, and there's the pie chart. So in a similar uh, kind of vein, uh, you would then go to the pie chart area again and go to column graph tool. Again, choose the size that you want your graph. And then you can similarly, as last time, put the same kind of information in. So I will go across again. So one big ish one. And there is my chart. So I don't need that anymore once I've got my information in. Then again, I can go to object ungroup, discard my information similar to the pie chart. And then I can again start playing with it. I still maybe would want the numbers, but maybe I don't actually want the kind of grid part. Okay. So I need to be careful which one I select. I'll select the line. Do one of those bits. Okay, so starting even might not even want the numbers, but I think the numbers are useful. Again I want to kind of get rid of the fill. So go to here, so it's just block colors, and then I can start changing the colors again. So I can go to here, I need to select the document I want, or the arrow I want, using the white arrow. Okay, so you've got you can play around with this grid system. Uh, you could uh, make it more transparent if you wanted to. 
Um, you know, you can play around with the stroke, the weight. You could even put kind of textures in if you wanted to change around with the textures and bring uh, some swatches in or even make your own swatches. You could bring gradients onto it and can do whatever you want to for that kind of information. It'd be quite nice if you started with textures from Photoshop within here and then drag to your swatches. So there's that one. And then the last one, I'll show you, I want to be quick because I don't want this up to go on for too much longer. But you go onto the line graph tool. Again, choose the scale, put the information in. see that it needs to go down as well as across for the spine. Obviously this is you'll put the information in properly. Let's get rid of a few of these lines so it doesn't become too confusing. Let's change some of these numbers up so they go up and down. There you go, that looks a bit better because then it's going up and down. Okay, so there's the there's the information. Uh, again, similar to what we've done before. You can ungroup them. So you've got rid of that. We shall get rid of the data. And similar to the what we've done before, so then you can just get rid of some of the information until you've got an interesting kind of diagram. You can also play around with actually the shapes if you want to change them slightly. Because remember, it's about the it's about what it's looking like more than the information on there. So you could actually change some of these and cheat a little bit if, you, if the information is not important. And you can change the color again. So just by individually selecting, again, it needs to be RGB. And then you can then individually change each one of the sections. Until you're happy. Sign so obviously they need to be the same colour, otherwise it won't make much sense. But I'm kind of rushing through it a little bit. But hopefully you can see how that one would work. Okay, so those are three different ways to make uh, more unusual designs. Again, just going going back, if you wanted to create more kind of textures within your design or, or shapes within it, you can use these or bring those into it. Okay, so that's hopefully helped you think about how to make 